and we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to create rounded corners. You've got a menu for that, under filters, decor and there it is, round corners. It should look like this I guess by default, so 15, 8, 8, 15. Let me check all the boxes and I'll just confirm it. Creating it on a copy, so we've got a new file now. Let me zoom out a little bit and you can see the corners right here. I've got a drop shadow and a white background. So this is the background and it's our drop shadow. This menu makes the canvas a little bit bigger so that there's space for the background and a drop shadow. If you want to adjust it, let's go over the menu again. We've got the edge radius first, so that determines the size of the roundness. I'll make it extremely big, and now you can see it right here. So this is the edge radius. The shadow offset is for X and Y. Let me just make it 80, and it's going to move much more to the right hand side. Obviously, the box at drop shadow has to be checked for it to be seen. If you want to have it to the left, you can also use negative values for this. So let me make it minus 80. It will now move to the left. And you can offset the shadow in the y axis as well with plus values and minus values. So this was positive. It moved to the right, and this was the negative 80, which moved it to the left. Let me set it back to 8. Blur radius, it affects the shadow, so how much it is blurred out or blurred in. Let me get rid of the shadow and the background. And this is usually the effect that you want to have if you just want to round the corners. So adjust the edge radius and uncheck the boxes for background and shadow. And then you get rounded corners for every photo. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.